Hi, my name is Stacy Miller Arndt, the Junior Golf Director and Teaching Instructor here at Congressional Country Club. And today we are going to talk about chipping. Chipping is an unused skill that a lot of people don't use around the green to improve their scores. And it's an easy stroke that if you practice a little bit, you'll notice that one, your balls will get closer to the hole, but two, your scores will easily lower. So when we chip, we want to make sure we're using a low lofted club. We want to use a seven, eight, or a nine iron, depending how far away you are from the hole. Stay away from your sand wedges and your, your lob wedges. They have too much loft, too much angle. And what'll happen is they'll pop up the ball up in the air and it won't roll very much. With our eight iron, seven iron and nine irons, the goal of chipping is for it to roll more than it flies. Thus, that's why we're using a club that doesn't have much angle to it. When you're chipping, you want to make sure that it is around the green and you have a lot of room to work with. We don't want to hit a chip where we have to get it up and over a hill. That's not going to help us. So when I set up to the ball, you want to make sure that the ball is in the middle of your stance and your hands are right in the middle of the grip. And we're just going to swing just like a putt. We're not breaking our wrists. We're using our shoulders and we're brushing the grass. We want to finish low during this swing. The first thing that you do before you hit your chip is figure out your break. Is it breaking left, right? Am I going uphill or downhill? The second thing we want to do after that is pick a spot between our ball and the hole that's about a one third of the way. We want to fly the ball one third and let it roll two thirds of the way. Once we've done that, we're going to line up, put our ball in the middle of our stance, hands in the middle of the grip, and we're going to make sure that our wrists are nice and easy. And it's not a fast, it's a one, two tempo. So one, two, nice, slow, and smooth. Keeping our head still, steady, and keeping our club low to the ground. One, two. Notice when I finish, I'm finishing low to the ground. That helps it roll. If I finish high, what's gonna happen is the ball's gonna go high and not roll as much. So every time, nice smooth tempo to finish low to the ground. A great way to practice this, if you're not have a club that's close to you, go out in your backyard, put a towel that's five feet, 10 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet, and have your ball land on that towel so you can work on your landing surfaces. And then you'll know that it's gonna roll two thirds after that. I hope you go out and practice your chipping. This will definitely improve your game. Have a great day. Thank you.